pretend, who actually don't come along. I believe the Minister needs to set up parental courses based on social media, consent etc. for the parents, not the teachers, in relation to its appropriateness or otherwise for their kids. And should parents fail to attend, children's allowances, child benefit in other words, must immediately be removed. Um, Government must show this is an issue they wish to tackle. Primary schools already do far more than their share. Parents of Ireland, parent your children, take responsibility. You are their number one teacher, not the primary school teacher. And so says Eamon in Galway, himself a primary teacher. Wills, probate and inheritance. For many, it's all pretty straightforward. But for some families, the death of a loved one can lead to rancour, nasty disputes and even in the most extreme cases, family breakup. Barrister and author Tim Bracken, who regularly contributes on this programme uh, regarding such matters, is in our Cork studio again. Good morning to you, Tim. Morning, Sean. Now, when you were with us the last time the floodgates opened, listeners texting and emailing their queries. Huge volume to go through. We'll do our best. Um, and uh, a lot of them, as we say, relate to family rows over inheritance. First First of all, Tim, here's one about a dispute on right to residence. My mother has left a right of residence in her will to my brother. There are five of us who have inherited the house equally. However, he has moved his wife and child in and changed the locks to the family home. Have we a right to a key? Have we a right to live there if we fall on hard times? Does she or her child accrue property rights? They have their own castle home as well and they live between the two properties. Yes, Sean, rights of residence are very tricky things and they can become very, very troublesome. I mean, a parent like that leaving a right of residence to one child, they do it in in the hope that maybe that child would have a roof over their head or something, you know, or maybe, uh, maybe they can't look after themselves properly. But they, they can become very tricky in situations like that. And there are two types of right of residence, a general right of residence or an exclusive right of residence. A general right of residence means you just have a right to reside in that house and the other owners of the house can't sell it and can't kick you out. I mean, but the other owners, they say, have their right to the key? They have, if it's a general right of residence. And have we a right to live there if we want to? Yes, they have, because they're co-owners of the house. And does, does they're, they're asking then about the wife of the brother who has the right of residence. No, she doesn't accrue any rights because the right, he and she actually shouldn't be there if it's a general right of residence because that is personal to the person who has the right of residence and therefore it's just him or her, whoever it is, and not their spouses and not their children. But if it's an exclusive right of residence, you have a different situation entirely. Have they a right to a key, the other members of the family? Yes, because right. they're co-owners of the house. And the right to live there, presumably, as well, if they, they have, fall in hard times? To, yeah, they don't even have to fall in hard times. They could move in if they wish. Right. Uh, now, another one. Um, I live and own my home here in Ireland. I also own a property in the UK. Does a will made in Ireland cover both properties, or do I need to make a will?